Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Um, so I'm going to show um, how to use this permanent um, year calendar, which I released um, in the last update. So at the moment, I do not have anything and no timetable, as you can see. Uh, it's asking me to upload a prayer time. And I have a 2019 prayer timetable somewhere in my uh, dump. So here is the 2019 CSV. And let's verify that it is. Uh, it should be comma separated and as you can see all the dates are from 2019 to 19 this is so this is the 2019 timetable so if I come here and I'm not gonna use it automatically I will upload manually and I will select 2019 mm, upload prayer timetable so now I have uploaded 2019 timetable um, which I believe some masjid has a permanent timetable for every year so if I go to quick update it will show me um, as you can see you can you can see the date and if I go to um, my test page um, as you can see there are daily timetables they're all coming from the 2019 timetable you can um, monitor uh, that's, the, that's the prayer time and that's the monthly timetable um, so it is taking from 2019 as you can see from other months and ev everything um, just to over confirm if I go to database um, so if I look for all the timetables I've got 2019 and I'm just to make sure that I don't have 2020 Shouldn't have any, which is yeah, empty. And if I look for 2019, I should have all of them. So as you can see, I've got 365 days for 2019, and the timetables are coming from 2019. I hope that makes sense and that helps. Even though it shows the time um, date for today. Um, and it will, it will, because it's going to take the time from last year. Um, so I hope it was beneficial. And let me know if there's an issue or send me your CSV so I can test. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum.